Revenue Attribution Analytics and Product Analytics. Revenue Attribution Analytics and Product Analytics are the best analytical panels for e-commerce. Thanks to them, you can find out which channels and which campaigns generate best revenue, and also you can find out how Sales Manago helps to increase sales. What is more, you can see clearly which products are best sellers in your shop. You're also able to decide what data is analyzed in your personalized business dashboards. You can create panels on your own, and these panels will match your needs. Thanks to them, you will be able to analyze how exactly the revenue is generated in your company. What's more, you will learn about most important elements of marketing campaigns which generate best revenue. You can also check out how all the actions in Sales Managa system help to increase revenue and number of transactions. And finally, you will be able to get information about the effectiveness of all your online marketing activities. Before we go to our dashboards, let me provide you with some glossary, which you may need to understand the panel better. The first term is last click. It is the source of transaction, which took place shortly before the transaction. That led the contact to your website. Another term is total sales. That's the total sum of transactions, external event type purchase, in the selected period of time. Another term is number of transactions. So all transactions, external event type purchase, in the selected period of time. Number of products in one transaction. Thanks to that, you will be able to know how many products were bought in one transaction, sent in one external event. The next term is key interaction. This is the interaction which takes place immediately before the last click. So it means that it's a penumulate source of entering your website by the contact. Let's assume that the last click is marked as N. Then the key interaction is marked as N1. It's also important to know what the introducing interaction is. It's any source of entering your website which takes place before the key interaction. So if we assume that the last click is marked as N, introducing interactions are marked as N2, N3, N4, N5, and N6. Now we can go to Revenue Attribution Analytics. You can find it over here. Let's click it. Here are widgets in Revenue Attribution Analytics. You can edit it and then go to Widget Library. In the Widget Library, you select the section Revenue Attribution Analytics or Product Analytics. Let's select the first one. Here you have all widgets in this category. You can select widgets clicking and unselect when you click again. As you can see, all selected widgets are marked with green. Confirm your choice clicking Add Selected Widgets. And here you have your dashboard. We will go to the widget library just to discuss all widgets that you can use in your dashboard. So the first widget, Total Sales, last click in the email sent from Sales Managa. This is the widget which shows you the total sales of all transactions which were supported by Sales Managa. For example, workflow, email, automation rules. The linear plot shows data for particular days. The next widget is total sales last click in email sent automatically. In this widget, you have total sales with the division into sources of last click in email sent automatically. 
sent from rules and workflow, for example. And the linear plot shows data for particular days. Here you have it. The next widget we have is number of transactions. Last click in mass email. In this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into sources of last click in mass email. For example, newsletters, mailing. This pie chart shows five top values which generated the biggest number of transactions in the specified time period. Next, there is a widget total sales, last click in mass email. In this widget, you have total sales with the division into sources of last click in mass email. This pie chart shows five top values, that is emails, which generated the biggest total sales in the specified period of time. We also have total sales, last click in mass email. In this widget, you have total sales with the division into sources of last click in mass email. The linear plot shows data for all messages for particular days. We go below and here we have number of transactions last click in email sent automatically through automation rules. In this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into sources of last click in email sent automatically through automation rules. This pie chart shows five top values, that is top five rules, which emails generated the biggest number of transactions in the selected period of time. And that you have total sales, last click in email sent automatically through automation rules. In this widget, you have total sales of last click with the division into sources of last click in email sent automatically through automation rules. And again, you have top, top five values, that is top five rules from which emails generated the biggest sales in the selected period of time. Next, there is a widget total sales, last click in email sent automatically through automation rules. And in this widget, you have total sales of last click with the division into sources of last click in email sent automatically through automation rules. And the linear plot shows data concerning all rules which send emails for particular days. Then you have total sales, last click in email sent through workflow. So in this widget, you have total sales with the division into sources of last click in email sent through workflow. In this widget, you have total sales with the division into sources of last click in email sent through workflow. And this pie chart shows five top values, that is workflow campaigns, and from these campaigns, emails generated biggest sales in the selected period of time. And here we have number of transactions, last click in email sent through workflow. In this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into sources of last click in email sent through workflow. So the chart shows top five values, that is workflow campaigns again. And from this campaigns, emails generated biggest number of transactions in the selected period of time. Please pay attention that some widgets are very similar. So in these two widgets, you have last click in email sent through workflow. But the difference is that here you have the total sales and here you have number of transactions. Let's continue. Here we have total sales, last click in email sent through workflow. So in this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into sources of last click in email sent through workflow. So the linear plot shows data for selected days. And again, these are workflow campaigns which generated biggest sales in the selected time period. Below, we have number of transactions, referral. So in this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into domains from which clients were redirected. So the chart shows 
top five values in the selected period of time. Next to it, there is total sales, referral. So in this widget, you have total sales with the division into domains from, the, from which clients were redirected. So the chart shows top five values in the selected time period. Then below, you have number of transactions, UTM. And in this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into top five the UTM tags. So let's stop at this point. UTMs are special parameters which can be added to the standard URL address. And thanks to these tags, you can follow precisely the traffic from particular sources on your website. Next to this widget, you have total sales, UTM. And in this widget, you have total sales with the division into top five best UTM tags. And again, you have top five values in the selected time period. The next widget is number of transactions, last click. In this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into sources of last click in the selected time period. And here you have the sources. So it's UTM, referral, search, advert, last click, email sent from rule, clicked, and mass email also clicked. Next to it, you have total sales, last click. And in this widget, you have total sales with the division into sources of last click in the selected time period. Next to it, there is number of products sold, last click. In this widget, you have number of products sold with the division into sources of last click in the selected time period. And in the legend, you have here sources. When you go below, there is average number of products sold in one transaction, last click. And in this widget, you have average number of products sold in one transaction with the division into sources of last click in the selected time period again. Next to it, you have average number of products sold in one transaction, last click. And in this widget, you have average sum of sales with the division into sources of last click in the selected time period. Next, there's average sum of sales, last click. In this widget, you have average value of one transaction with the division into sources of last click in the selected time period. Here, there is average sum of transactions, last click. And when we go below, there is total sales, last click in most popular transaction sources. So in this widget, you have total sales with the division into last click in most popular sources of transactions. So this chart shows top five biggest values in the selected time period. And next to it, there is a widget total sales key interaction in most popular supporting sources. So in this widget, you have number of transactions with the division into most popular key interactions. And let me just remind you that key interaction is the interaction which takes place immediately before the last click. So it's next to the last, yes? So if we assume that last click is marked as N, the key interaction is marked as N1. And we can continue. Here we have total sales introducing interaction in most popular supporting sources. In this widget, you have total sales with the division into most popular introducing interactions in the supporting sources of transactions in the selected time period. And again, I will just remind you that introducing interaction, uh, it will be any interaction which takes place immediately before a key interaction. So again, if we assume that the last click is marked as N, introducing interactions are marked as N2, N3, N4, etc. And then we continue. Our last three widgets. 
So the first is best conversion paths. So in this widget, you have most popular paths which led clients to purchase. So it means that the biggest number of transactions, 71, uh, took place after search, then there was a referral, and immediately before the purchase, there was clicking an email from rule. So such paths led to 71 transactions, in other words. And thanks to data presented in this widget, you are aware which actions and actually which set of actions led most frequently to purchases in the selected time period. Another widget is cross-channel attribution transactions number. So in this widget, you have in percentages which sources here you have UTM, referral, search, advert, last click, email from rule clicked and mass email also clicked. So uh, which sources supported number of transactions best on particular stages leading to a purchase. So contrary to best conversion paths, here you have collective data, which provides you with broader perspective on interactions of your clients. And these interactions led to transactions in the selected time period. And the last widget, cross-channel attribution total sales. So in this widget, you have in percentages which sources, again, you have them all listed here, uh, supported total sales best on particular stages leading to a purchase. So last click and supporting sources of transactions, of course. So contrary to best conversion paths, here you have collective data which provides you with broader perspective on interactions of your clients, and these interactions led to transactions in the selected time period. Please be aware that we are still in the, in the widget library, so you don't see data in here. But when you select the widgets, as I shown before, um, you click them, you have marked them with green, and then you add selected widgets to your dashboard, then you have all data you need. Now let's go to product analytics and let's discuss widgets here. So first of all, you have most popular categories, number of products sold. So this is, of course, a number of products sold in particular category. So the widget shows categories in which there was the biggest sales in the selected time period. Next to it, you have most popular products, number of products sold. And these are products which were sold more, most frequently in the selected time period. When you scroll down, you have most popular producers. So number of products sold. These are producers whose products were sold most frequently in the selected time period. And the last widget in this category, you have most popular brands, number of products sold. So these are brands of products which were sold most frequently in the selected time period. Let's select two widgets. Let's add them to our dashboard. And here is your dashboard. Remember that when you hover the cursor, you can delete the widget, you can duplicate it or go to, to its settings. And let's discuss settings now. So let's focus on the time frame first. So here you select the time frame. So the time, um, so every purchase which was, uh, which was done in this specified time period will be analyzed. And then you have number of days before the transaction. So you mean the time period before each transaction. So sometimes it can happen and it often happens that the number of days before the transaction exceeds the time frame which you have here. And that's normal. And here we have additional settings. And in additional settings, 
You can change the name of your widget, but please be aware that below you have a default widget name and you can always come back to it when you wish. And in additional settings, you also can change the widget color. And when your settings are ready, just click Save. When your dashboard is ready, you just click Finish Editing. Let me just provide you with some important information about your dashboards. So information about sources of transactions is gathered on the basis of generated and collected visits. So it means that it concerns transactions carried out by monitored contacts. It's also worth mentioning that revenue analytics doesn't include direct sources of entering website. And another information, data concerning transactions in revenue analytics and product analytics does not include changes in external events type purchase. So it means that when you send the external event, for, event first and then you modify or delete it, these changes are not included in the analysis. For more information about revenue attribution analytics and product analytics, go to our website support.salesmenago.com.